You are now using SAP Fury and you would like to add an additional application to the Fury Launchpad. The first thing you need to do is to click on the profile icon here and go to application finder. Then look for the application you want. So for example, if I'm looking for an application for sales orders, I can type sales order and then click on search. SAP will show all the applications or all the tiles that have the word sales order in them. So for example, create outbound deliveries for sales orders, my sales order, and so on. Now let's say I'm looking for another application, for example, costing. I get the result, no apps to display. Although I am pretty sure there are applications with the word costing in them. But now I don't have any. This means that my user is not authorized to use these applications. So how can we add an authorization to our user ID to use the costing applications? The first thing you need to do is to go to the SAP Fury Applications Library. I will leave you a link in the description. This is a public library from SAP for all the applications that are available in SAP Fury. So this is where you go to check if a certain application exists and what is the name of the application. Now I'm working on SAP S4HANA, so I will use SAP Fury apps for SAP S4HANA. And then here you can filter with many things, line of business, rules, industries. I will just click on all apps and then I will use the search box. So I'm looking for the applications with the word costing. And I'm actually looking for this application, Manage Costing Runs. So click here. And here we have all the details related to the application. For example, what is the application used for? So if you go to Product Features, this application is used for this. What are the key features? If there are any notes. And then if you go to the implementation information, this has all the, de the technical details needed to be able to install and use this application in SAP Fury. And if we go to Configuration, and go down, you will find the business rules. And this is the business rule you need to add to the user ID in SAP to be able to use this application. So I will copy this rule and then I will switch to SAP GUI and go to transaction SU01. Insert the user ID, click on change, go to rules and paste the rule we copied from the application library and then enter and click on save. Now this application or this rule has been assigned to my user starting from today. And from now I should have access to the applications that are assigned to this rule. So if I go back to SAP Fury, I will be able to use this application. The transaction to use SAP Fury is slash n slash ui2 slash flp. Now we have to wait for SAP Fury to load. And most of the time after you add a new application, it will take a while to load SAP Fury. And sometimes you can also find errors. This is what we are going to see now. So let's see if it will work or if we will get any errors. Now, as you see in my case, SAP Fury is not loading at all. I have no loading icon, I have nothing. So what I do to refresh the interface is I try to search for any application. So I will click on search and insert anything. Order, for example then search again. Now SAP is showing me this message. We did not find any matches for order. So I will go to the application finder and here I get another message failed to load catalog. So something is wrong now with SAP Fury. The first thing we need to do is to go back to SAP GUI and start the error log transaction. I will leave you the transaction code in the description of the video. This transaction will show you all the errors that happened when you tried to access SAP Fury. So double click here. And as you see in my case, there are no errors assigned to my user ID, which means nothing is wrong with SAP Fury. So all we need to do actually is to refresh the SAP Fury cache memory. And normally this will do the trick and we will be able to use SAP Fury normally again. How can we refresh the cache memory? Go back, go to transaction SE38, and here I'm going to use two programs. The first one is delete cache after implementation. And the second one is synchronize cache. So I will start by deleting the current cache and then execute. So these are the number of entries that were deleted. And normally you can have more than six. This is a very low number. But anyway, it means that the program is working. Let's go back. 
And then the second transaction or the second program is synchronize cache, execute. And normally this program will not show any log. So this is completely normal. Now let's go back to SCAP Fury slash n slash UI2 slash FLP and see if we will be able to use our transaction. So again, SAP Fury is taking time to load. So I will search for anything, order, and then wait. I have waited around 20 seconds and now the application finder is working fine. Now I will try to find our application. So I will type costing. And as you see, there are many applications available now. So if I go to the application finder again and search for costing, you can see that now we are authorized to use the costing applications and then you can click on this to add the application to any group you want in the Fury homepage. So I will add it to my home. And then if I go back, you can see that under my home, I have access to manage costing runs. So this is it. This is how you can add a transaction or an application or a tile to the SAP Fury Launchpad. I hope this was easy to understand. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.